In this video we're going to be learning how to take a PowerPoint video that you created that would have been say if your desktop or screenshots whatever it is that you have and how you're able to export that into a standalone video that you could upload to YouTube or to Teams. First you've already recorded your desktop video and if you remember from a previous video that was just the insert tab screen recording and here's the result of something that I recorded. So now I have this video inside of PowerPoint. The important thing is to remember keep the video simple. One slide will work the best for exporting this as a standalone video. If you go multiple slides you're going to end up with a whole lot of other issues that could arise from that. But what you do, I've got one slide, I have my video, I'll go up to file and then I'm going to go down to export and then you'll see a link over here a command that says create a video I click that now most of your videos do not need to be full HD or ultra HD just going HD or standard just they both work fine and it also makes your video be of a lower size of memory so that you're not ending up with this gigantic sized video so I'm clicking on HD and here it says don't use recorded timings and narrations this means the video will just last as long as the video lasts then you click create video then you find the location that you'd like to store this in. Put this down into screen recording folder, folder that I have. Give it a name that you have for that. And click Save. Now, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see it saying create video exporting video.mp4. That's exactly the format that we want. So now we're just going to let it finish rendering and then we'll be back. All right, now the video has finished rendering, so that means we're done with that. We can take a look at it. I'm just going to minimize that and I'm going to open up the folder that it went to and I will I will be able to see that it is inside here right there it says exporting video when I click on this it'll open and you'll see here is my now standalone all right video. let's say that we are now a there we go and that's how you can export a video tutorial that you create of your desktop or something that you would like to use for screen recording from anything that you would like to be able to do.